Now, giving and receiving. You, you, you think about any kind of a transaction interaction. Just, just getting, you go to McDonald's, get a burger, okay? You give five bucks, you get a burger, right? You're happy, the cashier at McDonald's is happy, right? That's usually how you want an interaction to the transaction to be. Both parties happy, then it's fair and just. Now, um, ripping somebody off or stealing from them or, you know, uh, scamming them, which is common prevalent, is one party is happy because they got, they got profit, but the other one got pain. Profit from pain. So that, why does that happen? You know, the, it, so the giving and the receiving there is flawed. Now, that has been a theme in my life because uh, I feel I was targeted for this scam because I'm a, I was, my mom violated me instead of loving me. Her love, when a child looks up to the mother to get love and gets violated, that does something to the brain at that age. And then I've had that throughout my life. Now, there's something I just recently learned so that, that, that uh, nice um, psychology student told me, so graduate student told me that I was, I don't think of my mom at all. She's, because of what she's done all my life, I hate her. I despise her. I don't look up to her. But then he said, now you don't. Back then, you did that fact that for years I, I, I hadn't gotten away. I so that the spiritual abuse I got, for example, the Janet Richmond helped the scammer because I was saying stuff that she was teaching wasn't sounded right in the group. She ostracized me using that, that method, and then she was always she kept scolding me, saying, You bring this on to yourself when she was the one thing and not myself. You see, being violated by, when you're a baby, your mom is you, God, right? It's your nourishment. She gave birth to you. She, she breastfed you. She's giving you your nurturing, your source, prime source of nurturing and love, and she's violating you. That's the theme, the spiritual abuse, Janet Richmond telling me I'm Judas and saying these things to, to compensate for the wound I got, knowing that's what I would need to get my loyalty and then hurting me. Do you understand in this way? Do you see that it's the same pattern? And, and in relationships, uh, the woman who come into this house and abused me, and used me financially, violating me in this way. A scammer had, her allegation was one, one that allegation that I did see, you make me feel like if I don't touch you, you're going to kick me out. Why would somebody say that? Why would you think about why would you not, why would I have to force you to touch me? You think about that. Why would she choose that as an allegation? Because of what she went through with her own, she was a kid, do you understand? And then her saying, leave me alone when she would leave and have this order against her, taking action, every action I can to get her to leave. And then so what happened to her when she was a kid, what happened to me when I was a kid, I was ending up in the same house. 
two sides of the same coin. Do you understand? This is a fascinating story. It's a horrible thing that happened. And then it was told, I've been telling people, Schindler's List was an Academy Award winning movie. And he plays Steven Spielberg. No, yes, yeah, Steven Spielberg. Uh, but it was depicting something atrocious, most atrocious thing in history that we know of. But it's a, this, this is a horrible thing that has happened to me, but the richness and the complexity that I've recorded and I'm making into a movie, I think it's going to be the best movie and everybody's going to come forward. If you have off me, please not because I want to set the cake. It's a beautiful movie. The atrocious thing happened, conveying what happened. Love does Todd love because of her here to tell the story. She lost her dog. The sacrifice she made, she lost because of her. And her love is what prevented the going through. You understand? That's why the dog was killed. That's why she had to the steps with to her mom letting her take refuge in her house as one day because she wants me all to love her. <laughs> and she's at rehab all the time to order to cope with horrendous adversity. She kept saying to the to the me. She had to she was getting medication. It was much. I couldn't think of I think I was in that enabling her. Because she was a lot. And I could There was no help. That was, she was getting therapy, psychiatry. I mean, have to end up getting like, because of overwhelming. The sacrifice she made for me. It's love. She loved me because she loved me. It was intrinsically motivated. Love, love. Which had happened like this for me ever. It's a lot of women. Abuse. Thank you, Tadia.